Hello everyone, welcome back. Is your iPhone stuck on a white screen and completely unresponsive? You're not alone. This issue, also known as the white screen of death, is usually caused by a software glitch. In this video, we'll guide you through three proven methods to fix this problem and get your iPhone working properly again. Let's dive in. Method 1. Force Restart iPhone. This is the easiest way and it works a lot of the time. All you have to do is quickly press and release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. And finally press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. If one forced reboot does not solve the problem, it is recommended to try two to three times. Method two, repair your iPhone with iTunes. Connect your iPhone to your computer using the USB cable. Then, force restart your iPhone. When the Apple logo appears, continue to press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Then open iTunes on your computer. Once iTunes detects your iPhone, click the Update button. Then follow the on-screen prompts to confirm that you want to continue. iTunes will automatically download the software update and install it on your iPhone. A software update generally fixes any software glitches that cause the iPhone white screen. The update is complete. Your iPhone will get rid of the white screen and start up normally. In case the update doesn't fix the problem, you can choose the restore option in iTunes to restore your iPhone to factory settings. This will erase the iPhone and reinstall iOS which will theoretically fix the white screen. Method 3. Repair iPhone with iSumsoft iOS Refixer If none of the previous methods work, consider using this method. You still need to connect your iPhone to your computer and put your iPhone in recovery mode. Then download and install iSumsoft iOS Refixer on your computer. This is an advanced iOS repair tool that helps you fix all kinds of common iOS problems, including iOS stuck on white screen, without losing any data. You can download and install the software by clicking the link in the description below. Then launch the software. Choose the system repair option. Choose Standard Mode. Click Start to confirm you want to continue. Click Next and the software will automatically recognize your iPhone. Click Download to let the program download the firmware needed to fix the iOS problem. Everything's ready. Finally, click Repair to start repairing your iPhone. The repair is successful. Your iPhone reboots normally. Then you can continue to use your iPhone without any problem. And that's it. If this helped, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech fixes, and hit the bell to never miss a tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.